Okay, so we finally put a full exhaust system on the Z900. And this is going to be the first time we're taking it out to give it a nice test run. You can see the aftermarket header pipes and down pipes, MIV exhaust, lots of upgrades we've done to the bike. Puig Pro frame sliders. Uh, carbon fiber heel guard, Corbin seat, Kawasaki seat cowl, Yoshimura fender eliminator kit, uh, Evo Tech radiator guard. So we finally got a lot of our updates done. Let's do a cold start and then we'll do a review of the uh, exhaust sound in real time and we'll also talk about. So like the first seven eight hundred miles. I just recently had the factory service done so um, I've had a Chance to ride the bike in sport mode for the first time, which is a huge uh, Change from from road mode, but we'll get into that uh, But for now, let's listen to this cold start from this new exhaust <laughs> I believe number nine on the bike and it's pretty much the biggest modification uh, to date that I've done most of the other modifications have been uh, more cosmetic or you know, for aesthetic value and then this one the exhaust isn't really for performance um, from my perspective but I do enjoy the sound of uh, a nice exhaust when I'm riding, you know, doing the aggressive acceleration runs. Um, so I do enjoy that, and I also love the look of it. The uh, stop pipes, they had sort of a brown, goldish tint to them, and these uh, aftermarket pipes, 304 stainless, they look really nice. I did buy some. Uh, Yoshimura paste to clean the exhaust just in case you know it does uh, get some discoloration after a while um, but so far I'm more than uh, pleased with the way this thing turned out one other thing that's kind of new for me is for this bike is uh, I just got the first factory service done um, 
about 50 miles ago, so when I got to like 650, I uh, took it in to get the first factory service, oil change and everything. Um, and so before that, I was just keeping it in sport mode, so I haven't really been kind of pushing it too aggressively. And it's, uh, it's interesting because when I first got the bike from the dealer, I rode it home in rain mode, you know, a new bike, fresh tires, coming off of a 650, I didn't want to jump out the window too quickly, so I rode it home in, in rain mode, and that was a good experience. Um, after I got comfortable with the bike, of course, I put it in road mode for, you know, the first 650 miles, because I didn't want to keep pegging it, you know, off of the 8,000, 10,000. Uh, RPM mark so I kept it in road mode and road mode gives you full power but it's a um, medium traction control and so just after the uh, first factory service that I had done I put it in sport mode and it still it, it, it changes the bike even more you get full power um, it's not cutting the uh, the power when you get on the throttle you can certainly feel the front end get light you know as the front wheel is trying to lift off the ground um, so it's definitely like a, a totally different experience running this thing in, in sport mode you, you kind of really get the full full performance feel of the, of the motorcycle which was which was nice Another thing that I'm enjoying in parallel, in addition to the new exhaust, riding it in sport mode, is I have a new seat. So there is a Corbin seat, and it's uh, wider in, in the back, so it seems like I have more room um, further away from the tank. And I don't feel like I'm being pushed up to the gas tank as much as, as I used to uh, with the stock seat. You know, when I first got this bike, I felt like I was riding too close to the front of the motorcycle. And I think that just has uh, something to do with the way the stock seat is is uh, shaped. It kind of pushes you forward. Um, with this seat, I, I feel like I'm more uh, kind of in a neutral position on the bike, uh, in the middle position of the bike, sitting inside of the bike instead of kind of on top. and. Um, being pushed to the front of the motorcycle. So things have been things have been uh, definitely progressing with the modifications um, but I'm really happy with the way this has turned out this exhaust and so again cruising under cruising under 4,000 RPMs and it was uh, pretty tame until I had to pass that truck there which was effortless another thing that I enjoy with uh, you know having this power on tap 